Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, what, uh, what, what do you have for me? Okay. Um, I just wanted to know what my um, options were. Oh, how old are you? Um, I'm 33. Okay. I don't know what your options are. What do you want? <laughs> I'm trying to um, see what my options are as far as like a high value man. I don't have any children. I'm a law student. Okay. Um, law student? Yeah, my third year. At, at how old again? 33? Yes. Why'd you wait so late to go to school? Well, I, I went to undergrad and uh, some I things get... happened. My brother passed away and things of that nature. And right. I, I came to a a career change okay. late in my life. All right. And how long you been in, how long you been in school? Um, in law school, this is my third year. It's my last year. So uh, you want to get married? Okay. What kind of... Ma- what I do want to get. What state are you in? I'm in Florida. Florida. And how much would a first year attorney make? Well, I plan on moving back to LA where I was living prior. How much would a first year attorney make? Um, that's a good question. I would say like at least seventy five thousand. How much would a third year make? Six figures or above. And do you want a man on that who's earning that? Yes. And you want a man who's earning that by the time you will be what? Three years from now, you'll be how old? Three years from now, I'll be 36. Okay. Uh, and you want to be married. Do you want children? No, I don't want children. So a man who's marrying you can't get kids. So you want a high earning man who doesn't want children. I mean, I prefer not to have children. If he wants children, I'm making compromise, but I personally- What do you mean you're making compromise? I'm, I'm, so compromise, give him one? We can discuss it, but I have a bigger issue than that. Oh, well, this is this. No, no, this is pretty damn big. Well, go ahead. Oh, I have a I have a bigger issue. <laughs> um, yeah. So I was I was I would say blessed with something that I can't get rid of. If you catch my drift. OK. And I, I have tried to date people with that same gift. Uh huh. And it's not like working out. Like I try to date people without the gift and with the gift, and uh-huh. it's it's hard for me to find somebody to be with. Yeah, it is. See, first thing you said was high value. You need just a person who's willing to deal with that. But that gift doesn't define who I am as a person. Excuse me. Okay. It damn sure affects your market credibility, though, and market and it's your sexual marketplace value. True. So you want a man who is in the top? Do you care if he's black or not? No, I don't. I actually just started dating, or I was dating an Italian guy with the same gift who I thought was high value. And yeah, he goes yeah, but me. the thing is, so you want a man who's in the top 10% of earners, who does not want children with a quote unquote uh, ability to deal with your gift. Lean forward a little bit. Yes. You want to know what your chances are? Slim yes. to none. Ma'am, you can't put a price tag and ask for what you're asking for. What do the kind of men who are earning the kind of money you want a man earn, what do they want from a woman? They want a woman who's fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, their womb. They want purity. They certainly don't women that are gifted, tainted. That's not what they want. You, you got to know that. I do know that. So I'm just trying to see how can I get. You can't have it. Not high value. Why don't you guys understand this? Lamborghinis don't go on donut wheels. They don't go on donut spare tires, okay? 
If you were working at Walmart, would you be asking for what you're asking for? I mean, that's my only problem, though. I feel like I'm... No, good. no, it's not. No, it's not. Because if you can't understand what I'm saying, this is your only... Your problem is you don't want kids and you sound really selfish. You don't You don't see your problems when I'm seeing them. First of all, you're going to law school late and you think... What did I say earlier in the broadcast? Your money and your education don't improve your, your status. Your status is by men is driven by your beauty, your femininity, your fitness, submissiveness, cooperation, womb, purity. That's all women. Especially for high value men. What you want to do is rewrite the rules. Not necessarily. I'm just want to find somebody that has the same gift that is, you know, on my level. Well, on your level, what level would that be, man? Like I said, I feel like that's my only problem. I, what, I can what have, level, I can what, have what children. Level would, uh, okay, what level What level would you be on, though? All right, how tall are you? I'm 5'10". Uh-huh. Dress size. <laughs> 13, 14. I'm, I've been working out, though. I'm losing weight. I recognize that. I've listened to your videos. Probably not hard enough because you actually had the audacity to come here talking about on your level. My soon to be level. No, you said your level. How much did, how much what's the most you've ever weighed? Um 200. No, ma'am. Please don't lie to me. I mean no, it was concerned. 200 and five foot ten, thirteen, fourteen. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You but are I'm tall, so it's it's in proportions. Yeah, ma'am. Let's say the last time you weighed yourself was when the scale said 200. Yeah. But that don't mean that's how much you weigh. That's the last time. Okay. All right. And then what is your level? What do you do right now for a living? I'm in school full time. Right. I'm an actor as well, but. All right. Hmm. Hmm. I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits. How much were you earning annually before you went to college? Uh, before I went to college, probably between 50, 60,000 a year. Doing what? Call center, call customer service. Right, right. A 200 pound gifted woman in a call center. And you talking about getting on your level? My soon to be level when no, I lose weight and become I a need, lawyer. I need you ladies to understand something. Ma'am, this is why people think I pay people to do this. You say you watch my show. And you're still talking about when I become a lawyer. So what? You'll be an attorney. Got news for you. It doesn't make you sexy. There are plenty of men who are attorneys out there who... You know how many overweight attorneys I talk to? I'm not trying to be funny, man, but you got a lot of that ego. But that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to find somebody like that has my same gift as well. And I can't even like keep them around. Take the hint. If I ask the men why they don't want to be with you, why, what, if I ask guys what it was, what is it like? If I ask the men you've dated, how do they experience you? What is it like being with you, dating you? What, what, what do you think they'd say? Um, I, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not really sure. Do you think you're an easy person to get along with? Mm, I mean, I'm a nice person, not necessarily easy to get along. Mm -hmm. It, dep it depends. Ma'am, 
why? Okay. And you know the next question. If you had to rank yourself, just your face, zero to 10, you cannot use seven. What would you rank yourself? I can't use seven? No. Okay. Um, then I'll go with six, I guess, if I can't use seven. A six. That's cute face. And what would you rank your body? My body? Yes. Not, rank... not your future body, your body. Can I use seven? Yes. Okay, yeah. seven. Ain't nowhere in the hell a 200 pound woman no seven. I'm five foot ten. You keep forgetting that part. I don't give a goddamn. Oh. Most people think I weigh less than what I do. Oh, Jesus. You weigh more than a man. And this is how far we've gone. Man, your cute face, but you are out of shape and overweight. And giving yourself a seven? What would a man who's over shape and out of out of shape and overweight said he was a seven? You ladies are far too generous with these things. You're average for a black woman. And average for a black woman is 80% are overweight. And at five foot ten, two hundred pounds. What does that make your BMI? Like a uh, 29 or a 30, I believe. I feel like I'm like a retired. I don't care what you feel like, ma'am. It makes mm -mm. you, you ladies keep acting like how you feel changes something. And then I have to be the mean guy for keep saying no, ma'am, no, ma'am. And you're in, and you're an educated, intelligent woman becoming an attorney. But listen, how you're talking, you're not dealing with reality. I mean, you're not dealing with reality. I don't I don't know how else to put it. Well, I'm just trying to, I'm trying I'm trying to 28.69 so 29 29 and 30 is considered obese. So, a cute woman who's cute in the face, give me that, who's one point away from obese. You're wanting a high value man. I don't understand why so many of you ladies think you can get a man based upon your, and you talk about on your projected income. You ain't got no money right now. By choice. Oh, shit. 